Hi, I'm Tyler Moore, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own logo without Photoshop and for free. The first thing you want to do is go to www.pixlr.com. Pixlr.com. P-I-X-L-R.com. Go ahead and click Enter, and then you're going to want to open Pixlr Editor Advanced, because we're advanced users here. Once we click on it, it's going to ask us these different options. We're going to want to create new image. So, and we can name it logo right here. Let's just name it logo. And uh, we can give it certain width or heights. If your logo has to be a certain width or height, then you can enter it in here. Uh, but we're just going to leave it 800 and by 600, and we're going to crop it later. 800 means 800 pixels wide, like that wide, and 600 means 600 pixels high. We're going to click on transparent, and what this does is anytime your logo is on a different color background, it will take that color of the background, and I'll show you what I mean in a little while. So, But just click on transparent, then click OK. And here we have our canvas, and we can start creating our logo. Now what I like to do is just get an image. Make sure that you have the rights to use the image, but you can just go to google.com slash images. And we're going to look for a PNG file. We're going to say uh, we want a icon PNG. And PNG because that means that this icon also has a transparent background. So it'll take on the color of uh, the background page. Let's say this page was black or green, then the logo wouldn't have a white box around it. That's why you want PNG, so that white box isn't around your logo. So just click search, and we can search down here, and we can look at our different logos, um, and we could just choose this one right here. Now you have to make sure you have the rights to this. Um, this is an educational video, so I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. But just click on it, and we can right-click now, and we can save image as. Now this works on a Mac, this works on a PC, this works on anything, because we're doing it all via the web. So we're going to save the image as, and we're just going to save it to our desktop. Okay, so we're just going to press save. Now that it's downloaded to our desktop, we're going to go back to our photo editor and we're going to say file open image. And we're going to find that image on our desktop. There it is. And we're going to click open. Now it's open and now we can see that this also has a transparent background because we can see the checkered behind it. All right, and that's not going to show up as your in your image. That's just showing you that this uh, picture is transparent. So once we do that, we're going to copy it and paste it into our logo. So we're going to go to make sure this is selected, go to edit, select all. That makes this little line around here. And we're going to go to edit, copy. Then we're going to click on this window and go edit, paste. Now this is way too big for our logo. We just want a little small logo to embed into our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to say edit and we're going to say free transform. So that makes this little box go around here and it gives you little lines. And, but before you start resizing it, if you just start resizing it now, it can get distorted. So you can squish it or you can, here I'll show you. You see how it gets squished or it gets out of proportion. We don't want to do that, so we're going to not save the changes. No. What we're going to do is we're going to click Edit and go to Free Transform. Then, while we're over here hovering over this, we are going to hold Shift. So while we're hovering, while we are hovering over this corner, we're going to hold, click and hold Shift, and then start dragging. Let's try that again. So we're going to go to 
edit, free transform, hold shift, and then start dragging. And see how I can't get out of proportion, how it resizes it uh, proportionately. So we're just going to go there, let go of uh, your uh, drag, and then just click this move tool here. And it says, do you want to apply the changes? Yes. And now we're just going to move it over. And now let's put in some text. So I'll click here, the text box, and we'll put my, and we'll make it really big, let's say 72. Uh, and we can change the font here if we want. So we'll just do that one, and we can change the color. What I like to do is I like to take the color from the logo. So let's just click on here, take this color, so we have my, and let's do another text box, and let's type in logo here, logo, and let's click this color again and select this color now. All right, so we have my logo, and these are your different uh, layers. So we can click on this, and we can click the Move tool, and we can move it. Then we could do that again. We can click on this layer, which is this one right here. We already have selected the Move tool, and we can move it. So there we have the logo. It's not a very good logo, but it's a logo. I hope you'll spend more time on your own logo. And now we can click the crop tool right here, and we can crop it. And then just press Enter, and it'll crop for you. So we're not wasting any space. All right, and uh, there's a whole bunch of other different tools here that you can explore. That you know, there's a bucket where you can fill in the different colors, or you can erase things, or uh, there's a paintbrush or a pencil tool where you can actually draw your own logo if you want. And there's a whole bunch of different filters and stuff where you can make things black and white, or give it weird, uh, you know, glows or different things like that. Blur it. But I'm not going to go into all those things right now. You can play around with this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File and Save the Image. Now, you see how this now has a white background around it? We actually want to save it as a PNG so that it is has a transparent background. Okay, then press OK. And we're going to say this is my logo and save it to the desktop. Save. All right, now we're going to go into our website. And if you've been following my website tutorials, uh, this will make more sense to you. But uh, if not, it should be pretty easy. We're going to go back into, we're going to change this logo right here. We're going to go back into our dashboard. And we're going to click Appearance, then Theme Options. And it says custom logo. So we're going to upload our logo. And it's my logo. And we're going to save all changes. So now when we go back to our website, we see our logo there. And what we can do here is uh, if this white background changes, this logo will also change the color of the background. So if we uh, change the background temporarily here, let's say we change it to black, you see that the logo also here uh, takes the color of the background. So there's not a white box around here. And that's why you want it to be transparent. That's why you want to save it as a PNG. So.
and we see we change it to blue and it did take the color of the blue. So that's pretty cool. That is how you make a logo. You go to pixlr.com and you find an icon or you can draw one yourself and add some text and then upload it to your website. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial and comment and like and uh, join me on Facebook and please subscribe. Thank you so much.